morning, Porsche family. Welcome back to the Porsche Network, the YouTube show which documents my Porsche road trips, Porsche adventures, Porsche DIY guides, and anything in between. So if that sounds like something you might be interested in, please hit that subscribe button now. It seems like such a long time since I published the last video, and hopefully I'm gonna get to a stage now where I'll get a bit more time on my hands, and I'll be able to start publishing a few more videos on this channel. But as the title suggests in this video, we're gonna be looking at five things that I love about this Porsche 991 Target GTS. Now the first thing that I love about this car is actually probably quite obvious. It's obviously the way the car looks. I feel that this car over any other Porsche, and I can include the GT3s, GT3 RSs, but I think this Targa has such an exotic look and you would expect the car, which it does, to get looks everywhere it goes. It gets more looks than I've ever had in any of my yellow 911s or any other uh, sort of high-end Porsche that I've been driving. Probably you can exclude the Carrera GT and the Porsche 918 Spyder. But I think for me, the looks of this car are, which make it one of the best looking Porsches on the market today. So the second thing that I love about this Targa GTS, uh, and the Targa in general in fact, is the operating of the roof system. The roof system has such a robotic look, or such a robotic feel about it, and it's almost like a work of art. Coupled together with this rollover bar, which I think looks absolutely beautiful on these cars, and obviously makes the car stand out a million miles. So the, uh, the rollover roof bar and the, uh, the whole operation of the roof system is a, a massive positive for this car. All right guys, so the third thing that I love about this car is the exhaust system, the sports exhaust system, which comes with the car. I believe it comes as standard. The sports exhaust system on this car just sounds absolutely phenomenal. It's the sports exhaust, which I don't think is rivaled in any other Porsche model, other than the GT3s, the GT3 RSs. Even the previous generations, like the 997, my 997 has the sports exhaust on, but you don't get, it sounds great, but you don't get the pops and bangs and burbles that you do when releasing your, uh, your accelerator foot from the accelerator pedal. For example, you probably won't really pick it up much, but so I can hear the pops and bangs and burbles there, but you won't be able to hear that probably on the camera. Um, it's, it's, it's something which comes with the GTS models and up. You wouldn't get that on your standard Carrera models, but the sports exhaust in general, even when putting your foot down, sounds phenomenal. So anybody who was to order or buy one of these cars and it didn't have a sports exhaust, I think you're making a, a really bad move. These cars need the sports exhausts. guys so the next thing I love about this car is the wheels on this car I've upgraded the wheels because I felt that the wheels which came with the car from the factory they just weren't really striking enough for me to um, I think a, a, a set of wheels really makes a car and these wheels that I've upgraded with this car I think they really brighten the car up and they change the the way the car looks in general the 20 inch wheels the bespoke wheels they look a little bit like the sport design McCann wheels but they really match the rollover look which is finished in the, uh, the satin colour. Um, so <clears throat> I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to be staying with these wheels. I have bought some RS Spider wheels as well which I bought the rears, I'm still looking for the fronts. So I may well be upgrading to the, uh, the RS Spider wheels because I think they look phenomenal but the, the front wheels just seem so difficult to get hold of. Um, so if you know of uh, a set for sale then you know please PM me, hit me, hit me up with a message, uh, I'll be willing to buy them off you. But the wheels we currently have on, they're kind of like a flat face front and they almost have like a concaved sort of rear look to them as you can see right now. So the next thing that I really, really love about this car is the spec of the car. With it being a GTS, it's naturally gonna come with quite a high spec, but I feel that this car has been spec'd with absolutely uh, no expense spared. It's got the lovely adaptive seats. 
It's got the Alcantara touches, the carbon fiber touches all around the vehicle. It's loaded with all of the options. You know, it's got all of the Sport Chrono, the Sports Exhaust, the Sports Plus system. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me, it's got the G-Force monitors on system. It's got the TPMS, which honestly I find quite a bind at times. Now being the GTS as well, it also has the wider body. It also has the side skirts fitted, and it also has the aero package, uh, which consists of the front bumper in this car. Um, you don't get a ducktail. You would normally get a ducktail um, or a spoiler with the uh, the coupe version, but obviously this is the, uh, the, the target, so it doesn't have that. But it does have an extra, I think it's about 425 brake horsepower over and above the standard Carrera. So I think this is coming in at about 425 brake horsepower. So I hope this video has given you a little bit of insight about the things that an owner would love about this Targa GTS. If you're thinking about getting a GTS or Targa, I would honestly say they are phenomenal, phenomenal cars, worth every single penny. Obviously, you will pay more than you will pay for a Carrera. Just hear the exhaust there. But it's so, so worth it. The enjoyment and the value you get out of this car never fails to put a smile on my face. Guys, if you've, uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you're not already, please hit that subscribe button. I'll be making many more videos on this Target GTS, and I can't wait to do many more miles in this car during the summer months coming ahead. And indeed into the, uh, the autumn and winter as well. So until the next video, take care, and I'll see you soon.